Moment, if we want it. I'll talk about them, sir. My name is Jose Benjong, and I come from the Universidad Politecnica Valencia, UPV. I know that here there is some <laughs> UPV, but this is from, from Valencia. And uh, I will present our initial experiences on learning analytics. So the outline is uh, quite long, but the presentation I pro promise that is quite short. So first, just an introduction. Then what, what was our main goal? This study, some results of the questions. So, uh, for a long time, most universities have incorporated some kind of uh, learning management systems. But additionally, in, in, in many universities, we have also some specific tools and services trying to provide instructors with uh, facilities to, to improve our teaching. So, for instance, in my university, <coughs> I have uh, highlighted three examples. So, the first one is called Polymedians, and in fact, it's a service that the university provides us to use <coughs> with, in a very fast manner educational videos. So, we have some kind of sets, the instructors go there with uh, <coughs> or, or just uh, trying to make a demo. And when we finish this, uh, let me say, recording, we have our uh, educational video ready to be posted in our site. Another interesting service is called Video Apuntas. That the idea is that we have uh, specific uh, intelligent, if you want, classrooms with many uh, cameras and, and some control staff, <coughs> and you can ask for the recording of the session. So when you finish your session, you have also a video about your lecture, and you can post it as well in your course site. And the third example is uh, a specific web tool to generate paper templates in order to uh, distribute uh, or to, to make quizzes in, in a huge classroom. And instead of using a specific papers that we have before, that you should go to a specific service to, to scan them and so on. So the idea is that any instructor can use this uh, tool to prepare any quiz and automatically process it. So just three examples that, that are in addition to the learning man management system. So the idea of, of this experience, this initial experience, is to know what is actually happening in the student learning processes and of course, to help instructors to um, respond to this really uh, learning process or this actual learning process. So, in this case study, we uh, took a first year course. It's uh, called Computer Technology. It's about digital electronics. And it's in the uh, first year of uh, bachelor degrees in informatic engineering. So it's a very common course in, in, in that kind of degree. We have about 500 students split in 10 groups, uh, at least 10 instructors, and uh, we could say that we have many electronic uh, material, uh, videos, of course, a collection of exercises and problems, links, and so on. So we, we Try to study which was the actual usage of all these materials in our course. So we prepare, we, we, we say, yeah, we follow the recommendation of the university and try to create different didactical educational resources. So we, we want to know which was the actual usage of all this material. So to do that, or to accomplish that, we use the statistic tool offered by our platform. It's uh, a Sakai-based platform. So in particular, we use that uh, the, the platform called uh, Reports. So with that kind of tool, we could uh, obtain accesses to any particular resource in our platform. We could select a, a time window as 
definite select, uh, duration of time, and of course we can also select the group, uh, the, which students could access to, to this material. This is uh, how the, the tool look, looks like. So we go to our uh, full site. Sorry, because it's in general it's in Spanish. So we have for each group uh, additional material. We have exams. We have uh, uh, past exams. And, and as I mentioned before, uh, we call polymedia, polymedia resources. So in this case, for, for this uh, case study, we, we were focused on the first unit of the course, at the beginning of the course. And in particular, for instance, we select uh, impressional media about the polarization of the people are consistent, which is at the very beginning of the course. So in the same uh, manner, we could select any material or any group of materials and try to study uh, accesses from groups, in particular window of time, and so on. So uh, in summary, what resources, where, and who access to these resources. So uh, after doing that in, in, the, in the very beginning of the course, we uh, got uh, really uh, non-predictable results, at, at least from an from a instructor point of view. So for instance, uh, concerning this particular resource, only two out of uh, 53 students uh, will be focused on a group, uh, just to, to give you some figures. So only two out of 53 students taking the test, so we uh, don't consider people that were, were not uh, involved in the, in the first test of, of the course. Only two of 53, 53 students have previously accessed the educational video about the topic that, that was in the test. And uh, another interesting result was that only 66% had previously accessed a document explaining the solution of the problems and exercise that was also in the first unit. So, uh, but uh, at the same time, we realized that only 40% passed the test, this first test that was under our focus. So, the academic performance was, I would say, quite poor or very bad, but our students in, in that particular group that was, uh, let me say, uh, a representative group that was not the best, but was not the worst as well. So these two uh, statements, two, two uh, actual things. And uh, of course, after doing the test, we published the solution of the test. And we also publish the solution for each student. So we, we use a Dropbox in our, in our system. So because the system, the, the, the alpha tool that I explained before, uh, automatically reveal the test. So we, we put uh, each test in the proper, in the corresponding Dropbox uh, of each student. So doing that, uh, doing accesses to, to these particular things, sorry. We, we realized that only 52% access the, the solution document. Uh, and uh, in addition, only uh, a little bit more than half students failing the test access it. So that's also important. And uh, only 38% of the students review its own test. Not, not the solutions the document, but some just to, to just to check which are good, which are uh, incorrect, and so on. And from which only 55% had passed the test, so uh, were successful. But incredibly, only 28, incredibly for instructor point of view, only 28% of students failing the test access uh, his own solution. This is uh, how the, the test look like, looks like. So we, we prepare a paper with the number of questions. In this case, we, we had four questions with uh, four answers each, and uh, the student can so the student can mark the, the, the entity number. And as you can see, after reviewing the test, 
you can see if this uh, right or wrong. So in this case, most are correct, and only first and the last are wrong. So, our comments about this uh, particular case study is what about our educational resources to reinforce critical concepts as the educational video? What about formative assessment planned by instructors? So we, we put uh, in our website a lot of documents, a lot of uh, solutions. We put in, in uh, very particular Dropbox the solutions. But we noticed that it's not really uh, used. So it's necessary to put so much effort to produce video and so on. So the idea is uh, to check the affordances of, the, of this tool that is uh, incorporated in, in our learning management system and try to check uh, the, the possibilities of this uh, report using this uh, statistics. Try to know if the resources were accessed, uh, where and by whom. And then, of course, we think that uh, this uh, tool really it could use to, to know the online activity of our students, of course, not the activity, activity outside the platform, but uh, there are some documents that are only available at the platform, so if they don't visit the platform, we know that they have not uh, this information. So we could uh, check their attitudes in some manner. So these results that I showed you give us uh, important information about at least attitudes of our students. And of course, that there is a lot of things to do after this particular experience, because we could combine, as we, we did, academic performance with uh, that kind of uh, accesses or that kind of online activity to, as uh, the, the keynote speaker said, to generate uh, good research patterns, and of course to change our our efforts, because if uh, educational videos are not really used, or are not actually used, perhaps we, we could do other things and to, to change our uh, focus on, on other things. So, thank you very much. Thank you for your good and great Yeah. And uh, do you have any questions? Yeah. <clears throat> have you presented these results to your students? Uh, absolutely not. Okay. <laughs> They, they, don't, uh, they don't know anything about that. And perhaps it's uh, related to some of the, of the uh, talks here about ethics or things like that. So, because they don't know that we have all, perhaps they know, but it's not uh, foreseen to include it in the student activity, for instance. We have a part of the, of the mark that is related to student activity. But this kind of non-activity is not included. You know what I mean? So they, they know that they have some uh, test, they should present something in the classroom, in the lectures. At, that, at, at the moment, we have not used it. So they, we have not informed our students about these things. Any other question? <coughs> Sorry, that, uh, do they get any feedback about their relative position within the course? Uh, relative to all the other students? Because, I don't know, if, if you get that course where most of them are failing, perhaps seeing them in relation with their with their peers may, might make them more interested about the, well, what went wrong. Well yeah, yeah. Because it's a, a preliminary, yeah, I agree with you, yeah. Because it's a preliminary phase. We, we don't want to, to take a lot of conclusions. But indeed, I think that, that kind of things, if, if we uh, have more data, more groups, more, more uh, information, perhaps in a, more, in a longer period, we could use it to uh, let students know that they are at risk, for instance. Because I'm sure that that kind of students that fail, don't, don't go to the documentation, don't, don't watch the videos, they will be at risk. For sure, so perhaps it's a good thing to them also uh, to let them know that last year 
a similar student to you fail at the end. So, but we 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 have uh, not uh, in, in that position right now. And, and also, you get some information about this fractional method, for example. Yeah. That might say that prior to submitting your test, yeah. you should perhaps recommend to yeah. strongly recommend to yeah, see sure. again. For sure. Yeah. And, and to, to look to the solutions and to check your, your mistakes and so on. Yeah, for sure. This is further work for, for, yeah. for the course. Yeah. Yeah. Any other questions? I have a question. Why? I have had a, a, a similar problem. I give yeah. my students one extra point only for sending me an email. Oh my god. <laughs> yes. oh my god. With their work name and yeah. their participants, and they, uh, I think they have 70% of the students that send me their email. Mm -hmm. But I have a 30%. Yeah. That doesn't happen. Yeah. 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 So, so, why? Why do you think that is? It's a, it's a very difficult question, I think. Uh, you know, there are first year courses, and uh, in this particular case study, it's second term, so they have suffered the first term. They had the physics and algebra or mathematics and a lot of very strong things. So perhaps when they come to our topic, that's the second term, they have failed some, uh, really have failed some. And perhaps some of the students that don't check uh, their own test are perhaps they know that there's nothing to do or something like that or, or they have decided to you know uh, drop out or I don't really know but it was quite surprising to me to, to, to know that bad figures because were at least to me were, were really bad we know that students are students, uh, and you know, yeah, of course. But you effort and you, you you do a lot of effort in order to help them, and at the end, some of them refuse to, to, to get all this information, so. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you very much.